One of the most important things we have learned about our beloved moon is that while it revolves around the Earth, it always points the same face towards our planet. No human ever saw the so-called dark side of the moon until 1959, when we put a spacecraft into lunar orbit. This perfect positioning is only possible because the moon takes exactly as long to revolve around the Earth as it does to rotate on its own axis. In other words, for every degree that it revolves in its orbit, it rotates the same amount on its axis, perpetually keeping the same face towards Earth. The question, of course, is whether this synchronicity is just a coincidence. Absolutely not. Tidal forces occur because the gravitational force is not the same across a given body. Newton's law states that gravitational force decreases as the square of the distance between two bodies. This means that when you get down to the tiniest details, the gravitational force on the near side of a body must be larger than that on the far side. Since we are dealing with bodies the sizes of planets and moons, this difference adds up, which is why we have tides at all. When the moon is directly overhead, the water on our planet is pulled closer to it. This causes the water level to rise, which leads to a primary high tide. At the same moment, on the exact opposite side, the Earth below the water is experiencing a greater force of attraction than the water itself. Thus, the Earth is pulled more than the water, so it looks like the water level is going up, although the soil beneath is actually going down. This is called a secondary high tide. So what does this have to do with the dark side of the moon? Well, just as the tidal forces of the moon are acting on the Earth, the Earth is exerting its own force on the moon. Because the Earth is much more massive, our force has created a bump on the lunar surface, close to where it's nearest to the Earth. The Earth has slightly distorted the shape of the moon into a prolate spheroid, like a very round rugby ball. When the moon came into existence, it was either rotating faster than its current revolution or slower. Now, the bulge caused by the Earth had to be near the point where the Earth is directly overhead. If the moon was rotating faster than it was revolving, the Earth's attraction would create torque until it slowed down. The moment the bulge passed beneath the Earth, there would be no more unbalanced force, so it would stay locked in that position. This would force the bulge to always stay underneath the Earth. Otherwise, it would simply be pulled back. If it had been moving slower, the twist would have been in the other direction, with the same synchronized outcome. As it turns out, the tidal forces of the moon are actually slowing down the Earth's rotation. When the Earth was formed, a single day lasted only about six hours. The moon is continuing to slow down our day by 15 microseconds every year.